Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tata, and today I'm super excited to show you my brand new self face fusion and how to run it on Colab without being detected or censored. This version of face fusion is a little different from the usual free Colab setups you've seen. It's self contained, meaning it can't be detected or flagged. It's smart too, it automatically detects the available runtime and installs everything it needs. And it's fast, the whole setup takes less than three minutes from start to finish. Another cool thing is, you can easily mount your Google Drive and save all your generated outputs directly there. So even if the runtime disconnects, no worries, your files are safe and you can just jump right back in without losing anything. If you want to upload your videos straight from the notebook, you can just run this cell and upload each one separately. It's super easy. All right, moving on to the final part, the launcher. As you can see, it gives you a few different tunnel options to choose from. Just choose your favorite and hit run. All right, let's get started installing our face fusion and see how long it actually takes. Let's find out if it's really as fast as said. Oh, just like I said, <laughs> it's super fast, no doubt about it. Next up, let's mount our drive. Now, let's launch our face fusion. Like I mentioned before, just pick your favorite tunnel and run the cell. But honestly, from my experience, Ingrok is my go-to. Here's why. Due to collab censorship, the launcher can't display certain words in the output. So to keep things simple, just select Ingrok, paste in your authentication token and run cell. Then head over to your Ingrok dashboard, scroll down to agents and open the link you see there.
Now, our Phase Fusion is running smoothly. As you can see, since we mounted our drive, the output has switched from temp to our uh, FF underscore collab folder. And like I mentioned earlier, the smart install detects when we're using GPU runtime, so it'll use CUDA automatically. If you switch to CPU runtime, it'll switch to CPU by default. And another thing, the install automatically picks up and pulls the latest updates. So you're always running the newest version of Face Fusion. Let's go ahead and test it out. export this swapped video so you can see the ultimate trick. If we monitor the Face Fusion terminal and our Collab Launcher output, we'll notice a clever little trick. Instead of showing any censored or restricted Face Fusion names, it swaps each name with my you. This avoids any issues with flagged or censored words and helps prevent disconnection or deletion of our Collab notebook. Let's wait for the swapped video to finish processing and then we'll check it out.
Nice, it's finished. Let's go ahead and stop our Collab runtime to save some GPU hours for next time, and then head over to our drive output and check if everything's been saved. Voila, as you can see, it's right there. Perfect. Alright, just a quick note, this is a paid script. The link is down in the description if you want to check it out. Join me on Fiverr and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.